Okay. <clears throat> Hey, you niggas asking for pain, but you shrimp on the pain. Now they screaming, you did it, you did it. My ice in Japan, I pop shoes in Atlanta. Now fuck it, your hoe in that blue Honda Civic. My cop me a rolling, my Nesco a Yoshi. She turned to whiskey, but she sip on the potion. Fuck till I come, she call me Danny Ocean. They did it, the music, the money come second. Plus I got banned, they turn into villains. Don't put a hand on me, they shoot up the ceiling. Roll to the glory and riches. I'm bout on my business. Told mama she know the don't limit. Run up a check on my brand new protector. Y'all hold to the lobby, gon' catch me your body. I did this shit from the jump. Why you saying you plug? I got fees for verses. I got it. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> this is Ernest.x. You can find me on Instagram, trailer, TikTok as well. Shout out to Hip Hop Weekly for having me. Peace and love. Also, I got visuals on YouTube, and we also have three projects out streaming on all platforms. So, yeah. <laughs> Hip Hop Weekly cover. Hip Hop Weekly cover. Hip Hop Weekly cover. Cover, cover, cover. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Hip Hop Weekly All Access. This is Brianna, and we're here live today with the one and only Ernest. How's it going? Peace and love. Thank you for having me. It's no problem. Great. No problem. Well, welcome to Hip Hop Weekly. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Introduce yourself to the fans. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ernest. Uh, you can find me on social media at Ernest.x, E A R N E S T dot X. And uh, yeah, I'm an artist. I'm from New York, Queens. Yeah. And I'm 21 years old. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Queens is definitely in the building. Well, again, we do appreciate you for checking in. You know, let's get started with you. You know, what inspired you to get in the industry and who are some of your influences? I did start off with poetry in high school because my friend, she gifted me a book and it was really to draw. But I don't know, some some caught me with the poetry because I think we were learning it in like my English class or something like that. So, yeah, I just started off with poetry and then that ventured off into um to raps. Because I realized that I had like the whole room in silence, like when I was actually um, speaking and uh, telling my poetry. So I was just like, you know what, if I'm captivating a room like this, like, why not try it? Right. You know, and a lot of influences for me, I would have to say um, definitely Kanye. Well, pre-Kardashian Kanye, uh, Earl Sweatshirt, Jay-Z, Nas, uh, Biggie. Yeah, like all the all the great like you know, all like, the all, legends. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, like <laughs> okay. yeah, just seeing them do their thing. Okay, definitely, definitely. So let's get into your project. Uh, tell us, you know, what you're pushing right now. Well, I actually dropped three projects this year. It's like a trilogy. I was trying to tell a story of like the battle between Ernest and Stefan. Stefan's like my real name, so mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Stefan wants to like settle down and have like a calm life but then Ernest wants to like he wants the cars he wants the money he wants all of that so mm -hmm. yeah uh I dropped three projects one's called Heartbreak Kid mm -hmm. that's more like Steph like going through like a relationship and a breakup type thing and then we have Kato that's um that was the first project and then we have Late to the Party which is the last one that I just dropped so that one's more of like the lavish lifestyle that he wants and like the crazy experiences he wants to go through and then Cato is like a uh, like the battle between Ernest and Steph because I separated the track that is like good vibes. And then on the top, we have just like lit, like party, like you want to go out, like have fun with your friends. So, yeah. Now, how long have you been doing this, though? And you said, I know you you were saying, you know, you're 21, but how, how long have you been doing this? Like for you to be a heartbreak kid. <laughs> <laughs> like officially, like this will be my, at the end of this year, this will be four years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like okay. actually like rapping. How old were you when you made Heartbreak Kid? Definitely 18. Okay. Okay, well, okay. Because a lot of kids nowadays, they start not in these relationships early. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yo, are y'all ready for this, right. bro? I'm like, who broke your heart at that age? Was that puppy love? <laughs> Word. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Definitely. So when you're not perfecting your craft, what do you like to do for fun? Fun. Oh, I love riding my bike. Honestly, like to get my own headspace to like clear my mind. I always take my bike ride out to the park, or I play handball with my friends, basketball with my little brothers. I actually have a lot of family. I have four four brothers and three sisters. So when you're out and about riding your bike and stuff like that, do you get any um, type of ideas? Um, that comes into play to what you're, you know, creating musically. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, honestly, just seeing sometimes I just like to go with like my headphones off just to see like regular day life. Like if I just see somebody um, dropping their child off to school or 
I see somebody walking their dog in the park, like somehow that that inspires me or gives me an idea, like oh, like I can connect to people like this. So, like, that sounds weird. Like, how do you draw inspiration from that? But yeah, that's that's where it really. Well, comes you're writing from. about just real stuff, right? So yeah. definitely, yeah. So look, tell us about your experience with uh, Real Sway. Ah, uh, that was a really that was a really good experience. Honestly, it, it humbled me a lot because I did stumble on my words, and um, it just showed me that if I'm always prepared, I don't need to get ready. So it was like. It was just a learning experience, you know, and they were they were really nice. It was cool. It was actually nerve wracking when I got up to the mic. I'm not even really? gonna lie. Yeah, because there was like a bunch of lights, like, and um, I don't know, like I had control of the room, you know, and I did not use that to my advantage, but it showed me in the future how I can. So I appreciated that. I, I like that experience. Okay. Okay. So you know, what else can we expect from you going forward? Any uh, shows or tours or anything like that? You can expect a lot of shows you can expect music more projects collaborations with other people and um yeah a lot of that in the future who do you want to collab with everybody that i don't have a list because everybody's ill in their own way mm -hmm. so it's like somebody can contribute something somebody can contribute something that's crazy but when i got to the a i actually linked up with spins and we just created something like it, it was fire like it came out of nowhere like he just was um playing a bunch of tracks and yeah okay i see us collaborating in the future. okay yeah. <laughs> okay now um is there anything else you want our listeners to know that you're pushing i know you said you have three you dropped three projects this year um you know anything else we have about five visuals out right now we have way more coming we also have a series called moments of earnesty on youtube and you can check that out and also on my Instagram page. Uh, yeah, and also we're working on a project called Last Kid from Queens. Okay. Yeah, so that's like, that's going to be ill because it's like um everybody's on their own wave when it's about like drugs or guns or like gang violence. Ah, uh, ah, uh, like, yeah, that's cool or whatever. But I don't know, like, there's more, there's more to speak about. Like, there's more realness, you know, that you could bring out of like um your experience and stuff like that. So that's, that's really what Last Kid of Queens is about, like. Yeah, I'm going to be okay. speaking my story, like my truth, you know. So, yeah. Okay. Well, we're, we're definitely going to be, well, I, me personally, I'm going to be following it. <laughs> Thank keeping, you. Keeping up with you, definitely, definitely. Okay. Well, uh, if there's nothing else you want our listeners to know, um, I want you to leave your social media handles and how you can be reached. My social media, uh, you can find me on Instagram at earnest.x, E-A-R-N-E-S-T dot X. You can also find me on Triller and TikTok at all right earning okay yeah. i need to get um i need to get on trailer and tiktok I, yeah. I'm, this is i'm seeing it more and more now yeah the young kids are on that like yeah they, they love it it's I, like i need to get up i'm on saying that. young kids like i'm not 21 <laughs> <laughs> yeah but well. i know what you mean though like the just the kid kids mm -hmm. they're even on it it's I, like I the new you. wave like, right um i don't really get it sometimes but yeah. right i'm, I'm seeing it more, more but i just want to say I'm, i gotta start getting on getting more you know familiar with it because mm -hmm. i see it a lot yeah definitely definitely well we do appreciate you for checking in and mm -hmm. taking the time to speak to hip-hop weekly thank you for having me no problem appreciate it